Thanks for watching us. I'm Melody. I'm Melissa. I'm Jacob. Do you know what this is? Jackfruit. Good job. It's a jackfruit. Today we're going to cut up and taste test the jackfruit. <laughs> So this is our first time trying the actual fresh jackfruit. We've had it from the can, but we've never had it in this form. Does it look yummy, Melody? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so <laughs> hopefully we picked a ripe one. Um, we picked it up today actually from Publix. Our Publix has jackfruit, but I know that you can get them at like an Asian grocery store. So we got a jackfruit that kind of has some dark spots on it and you want to find one that kind of gives when you push it. So this one does, so hopefully it'll be yummy on the inside. What you're gonna need is a knife and you're gonna need some oil. We're gonna use cooking spray because it's just easier to um, get on there. Go ahead and spray your knife down. Ooh. I already went ahead and rinsed this. And then we're gonna spray the jackfruit too. It has a latex in it that could ruin your knife or stick to your hands. So you wanna go ahead and spray or oil your jackfruit. Oil your hands so that uh oh, I'm gonna need some cleaning. And this jackfruit is about 14 pounds. This was a smaller I'm one, cutting. so they have bigger ones. But we didn't want to go too big just because it's our first time. Flip it. And cut it. And cut it. yellow areas that's the actual fruit that you eat and there's seeds in it so I'm gonna save the seeds because I heard you can roast them I don't know if I'm going to you want to wipe just in case the latex comes out this one's pretty ripe see that part right there is like rotting mm -hmm. so we'll avoid that this one might be a little too ripe okay. pull this out okay oh I got one and we pull the seed out see it so this is what it looks like. Ooh, That's yours. Did you see it? Good. You want to split it? Good. Pull the seat out. I pulled the seat out. Wait a minute. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of um, hmm. like a unripe mango. Mm. No? Mm -hmm. Maybe. But then you get some other hints. Mm -hmm. Melody, do you want to try it? I like the taste no. better than the smell. Yeah, the smell is like a, like a rotting fruit kind of smell, but I think that's normal. But it does taste good. It is a little pricey. Oh, man! The bigger you go. Um, like I said, this one was 14 pounds. 
So how much we pay? Like, yeah. it's like 20, oh, little, 20, 20 something. So it's like a dollar something per pound. Mm. We're used to other types of fruit, like oh. like watermelon or strawberries mm. or yeah. kiwi. Um, but this type of sweet smell it smells like a cross between some sort of sugar and like medicine. <laughs> <laughs> Food is medicine. And we, uh, we're more used to eating jackfruit as kind of like a meat substitute rather than eating it as a fruit. So we'll probably get used to it as time goes on. But right now it doesn't, um, doesn't smell that appetizing to me. Oh, yeah. yeah. Maybe it's because I'm not that hungry. It doesn't smell like horrible, but it's not like, oh, that smells delicious. I'm getting some good pieces out of it. To be honest, I don't really know if I'm doing this right, but we'll see. Yep, okay. Oh, yeah. You cut it. Can we pull out that core? No, it's too okay. hard. It's kind of like a pineapple mm. core. It's kind of giving me a headache. Yeah, the smell is strong. So we're gonna keep pulling away at this jackfruit. I can't do it with y'all. So we're finally done cutting up the jackfruit. I saved the seeds and then this is about how much we got out of a 14 pound jackfruit. Uh, I'm sure that I missed some and it was really difficult. It took me over an hour. Um, Jacob helped me for about a like second. 20 minutes? Yeah, maybe 20 minutes. I think I'm just not used to the smell. Uh, I started getting the headache and feeling a bit nauseous so I had to stop. But uh, I don't know, maybe over time, as we eat it more often, I might get used to it, but, yeah. but for now, it's just, uh, the smell is just a little bit too much if I'm around it for too long. Um, it didn't give me a headache, but yeah, it doesn't smell that great to me, but the taste is good. I like the taste a lot. The taste and the texture is good when I eat it, but something about the smell when I'm not eating it, it doesn't, uh, is not very appetizing. So I know some people don't like cilantro. A lot of Koreans don't, because they didn't really, uh, I don't think they grew up eating cilantro. Yeah. Uh, but I'm wondering if that's the same same type of uh, feelings that I'm getting towards jackfruit. But I'm still, you know, um, I think it'll probably just take some time and it'll probably grow on me. So I'm not, I'm not uh, gonna eliminate it from my diet. I don't think we're gonna finish this before it goes bad, but I read that you can freeze it for up to two months, so I'm probably gonna do that and maybe make some smoothies with it. So, yeah, overall, I like it. It's just a lot of work. It's a lot of work to get all the meat out of it, but I like it. If you guys know what to do with the seeds, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching our video guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let us know what you want us to try next time. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hmm, I know a video. Get the subscribe to here. Subscribe to the red bye.